What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Friday, February the 3rd, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about um, the latest in Bonanza. We have officially got a email. Um, the first email came in in Spanish. The second one finally came in in English, um, obviously sharing with you guys what the demographic is. All right. But anyway, um, before we get started, I want to remind you all um, that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. All right. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I am cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less than that. Now, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, uh, just hit the notification bell as well. All right, here we go. So this Bonanza opportunity, uh, I don't think it quite lasted a year, ladies and gentlemen. And as we said in the last video, uh, I, it has uh, some, some news. Uh, we already reported that it's going to be dissolved, but we now have the details of what's going to be happening going forward. Like I shared before, um, this is a little bit different than your regular, uh, what some would call a rug pool or anything like that. Um, they are setting an initiative uh, in place to um, be able to make sure everyone gets their principal back. Uh, and we have some details on how that may go down or at least an email. We're going to read it together. Um, I'm actually going to read it for you guys so I don't have to expose my email address back or anything like that. But I'm going to read it. And everyone that signed up with Bonanza should have received this email. Everyone. All right. Everyone that is that is in the Bonanza system should have gotten this email. So uh, just check it out. Look, you know, do a search of Bonanza Global in your email if you haven't seen it already. But here we go. I'm going to read it for you guys. It says investors of Bonanza Unlimited. Uh, Bonanza Global is, uh, I'm sorry, Bonanza Global is being dissolved and will not be accepting any additional or new investors. The company is being dissolved by the following uh, occurrences. One, the sale of all or substantially all of the company's assets and the collection of all proceeds therefrom. Two, uh, therefore, the manager will begin the liquidation of Bonanza Global and begin the distribution of creditor payments, uh, winding up liquidation and distribution of assets. Uh, A, upon dissolution, an accountant, an accounting shall be made by the company's manager of the accounts of the company and the company's assets, liabilities, and operations. The manager shall immediately proceed to wind up the affairs of the company. B, following dissolution of the company and upon liquidation and winding up of the company, the manager may make a final allocation of all items of income, gain, loss, and expenses, and the company's liabilities and obligations to its creditors shall be satisfied to the extent required by law, whether by payment or the making of reasonable provision for payment. Prior to any distributions to the company, payment to begin on March 1st, 2023, or any time thereafter. Upon distribution of payments or reasonable provision for payment of all liabilities and obligations of the company, the company shall be deemed terminated. All right. So pretty much what that means right there is that they're going to start payments um, on March 1st or any time thereafter, which could mean any day after that, uh, but not before that. And um, after they're done making sure that they pay people back, they are going to be terminating the company. Uh, effective dissolution. Upon dissolution, the company shall cease to carry on its business, except as permitted by the law. Upon dissolution, the manager shall file a statement of commencement of winding up and publish the notice permitted by the law. Uh, certificate of termination when all debts, liabilities, and obligations have been paid and discharged or adequate provisions have been made. Therefore, and all of the remaining property and assets have been distributed to the members. A certificate evidencing such termination may, but shall not be required, be executed and filed with the Secretary of State of California in accordance with law, all right? So a lot of this is uh, um, more legal talk than even a simpleton, like, like a simple, I won't call myself a simpleton, but um, I am not a lawyer, that's, that's a fact. So um, there's a lot of things in here um, that may go over my head, but I think the main thing is um, that they're going to start distributions of payments after the March 1st, all right, not before then, I, I did remember seeing something that, and I, and I thought it was in the uh, Bonanza group that said that we we're going to start payments um, 
in the last week of February. Um, but maybe this is a more official statement. That was more of uh, what Paz said on his call. So long story short, Bonanza had a short run. It wasn't able to do some of the things that uh, it set out to do. And that happens in business, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I don't want to be one to say that that doesn't happen in traditional business because we all know it does. Now, because of the space we're in, because we're in crypto, because we're um, you know, involved in, in this space in general, uh, there's a lot of times where this happens and people do not get their money back at all. Now, I believe with the unique way that Bonanza had set itself up and promoted itself, uh, they actually were trying to do things legit. Um, and they met with a lot of people, and I'm sure uh, that they thought they had a plan that was solid for um, being able to generate returns for people. Um, and either something changed in that plan or um, whatever they had in their plans failed. Nonetheless, they're dissolving the company. So um, there is this, there seems to be a plan in place, which has not been seen in the space per se. Um, I haven't really been, I, the more that I'm in this space, the more that I realize I haven't been here that long. There's been so many different platforms that have come and gone over the last, you know, half a decade that, you know, it may, some stuff just may be happening to the first time for me and not for other people. But uh, this is one of the first times I've seen where uh, a company has to completely dissolve and they have put a plan that um, people are going to get their money back. Uh, now, let me preface that because a lot of hypes and different uh, platforms out there have said, hey, we're going to pay on this day and, you know, like Mayo Trade, right? Mayo Trade was one that said they were going to pay on January 26th. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't believe anybody's gotten a payment for Mayo Trade any of the days that they said they were going to. So there have been times that platforms have said they're going to put a plan in place you know, even talk about what the plan is and then they never do it, right? Or pe make people redeposit to, you know, to act like they're getting more money or, you know, put another $50 in or whatever and we'll send you your money back. No, they're not. They're just going to take your $50 and stop talking to you. So it doesn't seem like they're asking for more money. They've already said at the beginning of the note, we're not taking any more investments or investors, okay? So that's not going to be going on. So anybody that has an account, that has deposited money, I believe you are going to get your principal back, all right? That is what I have been told. That is what Pa said on the call that I was, uh, that I got some uh, uh, information on. And that's pretty much what this note here is saying. Now, if you're in Bonanza, uh, please do check your back office because it's one thing to hear it from me. It's another thing to understand and comprehend it for yourself. So I encourage all of you to go into your emails and find this note. Um, if you need to contact a lawyer or something to understand some of this legal jargon a little more, uh, you know, hopefully you can do that. Um, but what I'm seeing that's different about this, and I think it's a positive thing, uh, because, of course, Paz and his team still have to have lives and they don't want to be seen as scammers. This is already a um, this is already a space where people are quick to call you a scammer. Right. And not that it has to hurt your feelings, but it can hurt your credibility in the space, I guess, or hurt your credibility uh, in business, in the business world. And of course, we've seen many people bounce back from blunders. So it's never over until you decide to quit. Right. If you just quit, then it's over. Right. Um, so I wish the best to Paz and his team um, and anybody that was promoting Bonanza as well at a higher level than me. Um, I know because things started to stall and I didn't really put more than I put like twenty five hundred dollars in at the most. So, you know, I, I, I kind of had some other things to talk about that were more important in my journey. This was something that was just running in the back end for me. I enjoyed my time, you know, and if I get sent money back, cool. Um, if I don't, then I chalk it up to what happens in the space. And I remember my rules. Right. Risk management 101. Never put anything more than you're willing to lose. And that's more of a mindset thing than it is anything else, right? That's more of a being a responsible or a good steward thing than anything else. A lot of people want to get on me because of this and that. But listen, I follow my own rules when it comes to risk management, especially in the losses, especially when the lessons come. I've had many lessons here on this channel for all of you to see, right? And my posture hasn't changed. I'm still excited. 
Um, I'm still optimistic about what this space can do passively. And even though most of us did not make our passive money back, we will hopefully get our passive money um, through the liquidation of the company, whatever its plan is uh, going from March 1st forward. Uh, this is just an official statement from Bonanza. They had, um, they had a, you know, a good run and they just weren't able to do what they set out to do. And that happens in business. So I'm not going to act like it's such a terrible thing or, or, you know, anything like that. That kind of stuff happens in business. And if we're going to be serious about this thing, we have to understand that this happens in the space. And that's why we have to protect ourselves first, right? Follow our own rules. And remember, never put in anything, anything more than you're willing to lose. Um, and, and quite honestly, let's be honest. Let's be real. Um, nobody's going to feel sorry for anybody that decides to put in more than they were willing to lose. Nobody's going to feel sorry for that person because we should all understand the rules. And if you decide to do that, let it be a lesson. for You You don't have to quit. You can learn a hard lesson like that. I learned a lesson like that. You have to understand in my first platform, I put in 30,000. And as soon as I was making a thousand dollars a day, it was gone. So listen, I understand. I have felt that pain. But the only thing that I decided to do was get on YouTube and talk about it. Not be afraid of the outcome, just understanding that, hey, as long as I got air in my lungs, I got another opportunity, whatever it is, whether I decide to get on YouTube or not. So this may spark something for a few of you guys. Bonanza may have been your first platform. This may have been your first opportunity to, to make some passive income. And while it was working, it was working. Let's be real. All right. And it was impressive while it was working. There's a reason why it garnered the business of so many. Now, where some of those leaders are right now, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, haven't seen much talk about Bonanza on YouTube, but I'm sure it'll come. Um, because we can't run away from these things, ladies and gentlemen. These are learning lessons. If you run away, if you run away from your learning lessons, you'll never learn anything, right? So, like I said, if this is your first platform, um, you have a decision to make. Uh, do you want to tuck your tail and take your ball and go home? That's your decision. Do you want to hunker down and see what else is out there? I have a whole channel based on the things that I'm in, right? I don't try to tell anybody what to do. You know, nobody's holding a gun to your head. Nobody held a gun to your head and said, join Bonanza. Let's be real, all right? It's okay to be real sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, and be accountable for our own decisions. It's okay, I promise. You'll get over it. You'll get through it, and you'll grow from it, all right? But that also gives you the opportunity to be open about the other things in the space, because this was a working entity for a while. And so was the first thing that I was ever in. And it showed me something, ladies and gentlemen, it said to me, hey, either there are other stuff out here like this. Do y'all understand that crypto program right now? 25% a month pays out just like this was trying to automatically to your wallets and it's been doing it for eight months strong now eight months so i haven't been in it for eight months of course but you know when you share things that are you know working and they start working for people they share and things start to go the only problem with bonanza is it just stopped working for whatever reason whatever whatever it was getting his money whether it was trading you know, whatever it was doing, it just wasn't doing enough. So I counted a blessing to have the opportunity to even get some of my principal back, if any back. But I was prepared to lose whatever I put in the platform because those are the rules of the space. And I hope everyone takes this opportunity to learn these lessons if you want to stay in the space, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of success to be had, but you have to, you have to follow the formula. You got to follow the formula especially if you're going to be passive in the space, if you're not going to be a person that is sharing these things with others, you know, you really have to be following the rules. You really have to adopt that mindset of not depositing anything you're not willing to lose. If the minimum is too high for you, if the minimum was $500 and that's too much for you, then decide not to do it. All of us want to win. We all have to take chances to win. No matter what we're doing, you have to take a chance to prepare yourself. You got to take a chance and work out. You got to take a chance to go through some tough, 
learning curve period so that you can become someone that's proficient in what you're doing. That's universal. You got to take a chance. And your own worst enemy is you. That's it. It's nobody else. Really, it's nobody else. It's your own mindset. It's your own thinking. It's your own ways. It's, you know, and I'm, I'm going into a tangent right now. But this is important because I know there's going to be a lot of emotional people that are involved with Bonanza now and don't understand, you know, what's going on or what to do next. I already understand that. I know that. But this is a person right here, right? I've been only doing this two years, but I've been I've been jumping on the camera and either succeeding and or failing in front of all y'all for a long time. So I know how it goes, right? The good days and the bad days. And while this may be a bad day for some of some of you, if you decide to not quit and keep on pressing on, lick your wounds, get up and keep going. I can't promise you anything. Can't guarantee you anything. I could be dead tomorrow. But at the end of the day, if you keep trying, and as long as you got lung, you got some air in them lungs. I mean, success shows it leaves it leaves clues. And the clues say, hey, if you don't quit, you're gonna make it. So with that being said, ain't no quit over here with BOJ just because Bonanza is gone. Um they're giving us a, 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 a communication, which I appreciate. They're letting us know what's going on with the company and what their final resolution is. And we're looking forward to seeing them carry this out because that's important. Um, I know there's a lot more people other than me in Bonanza. And, um, hey, I want the best for everyone that's in this space. But we got to learn. All right. Learn these lessons. Learn these rules. And count it a blessing that Bonanza is doing it because in this space, and I know I say in this space a lot. All right. Somebody already told me in the comment section. I know I say it a lot, but I mean it. In this space, it's a special set of rules, all right? And if you don't follow those special set of rules, you can end up uh, losing your shirt. <laughs> With that being said, uh, hopefully you don't use, lose your shirt because right? we don't provide financial advice. Here. <laughs> anyway, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west, y'all. If you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked, all right? Ask me how I know. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, hit subscribe. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. This is Bonanza, uh, saying bye to Bonanza, but we're also going to be paying attention to see uh, what goes forward with Bonanza and their um, principal sending back process. A lot of you have your wallet addresses already in their system. They have already been sending most of us crypto for months. And, um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right. I'll see you on the next one. This is Bonanza. Peace out.